Hello guys, hope you're well. I am actually back with another video on an interesting AWS topic. So today we're going to look into AWS Event Bridge and how that can be integrated with SNS. I learned this recently, so I thought I will just share it with you as usual. Uh, and also like if you're an Oracle DBA and if you're into databases and if you need some some sort of like a sounding board actually, right? Uh, you can reach out to me. We'll just fill out this contact form and uh, I'll set up uh, some Zoom call or Hangout call with you guys and then uh, we'll chat. Okay, so I am already logged into my AWS console. So we need to uh, go to EC2 service. So EC2 service, uh, you know, basically the feature or the demo that I'm showing is basically for setting up uh, an alert, right? Let's say if your EC2 instance uh, goes down for some reason, you want to get an alert, right? I know we have CloudWatch and all that, but uh, how do you set up the alert? Like there are, you know, this is what you do actually, right? So okay so let's get started with just creating an ec2 instance i'm not going to go into the details of this it's this video is not meant for explaining ec2 instance uh, creation but basically just click on launch instance and then choose like this like any ami it doesn't matter for this demo and then just go with the free tier t2 micro you know free to free tier eligible instance type and just keep going and make sure you put it in a proper subnet and then maybe we, do we need a public IP we don't really need it I'm not going to log into the instance or anything like that uh, and then we uh, add a storage for this EC2 instance it doesn't matter what kind no need of tax uh, the security groups, right? So again, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So we just need a sample instance and I'm just going to, you know, for this demo, I, I'm going to shut it down, start it back up and things like that. Um, and just to show that I get alerts for such uh, actions or such state changes. So and then just click on launch instance, right? So I'm just going to choose a key launch instance. So now the instance is getting created. So what shall we do? Uh, all right. So now the instance is getting created. So we can just look at that. And that's actually pending. It's going to take a while. Uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly jump to my simple notification service right that's the sns right so i'm going to create like an sns topic right so here we have a topic actually so i'm going to just say uh, uh you know we don't need it to be fancy this first in first out like this is sort of like a very um you know it's only required for like production instances or production implementations we're just going to do a demo so let's say demo topic right something like that and hopefully uh, I'll just call it demo topic one I don't want to, to put some name that was already used so display display name is not required let's just go ahead and create this topic I mean I think that's all you need Yep, so that's the topic. And one thing to note is actually when you create an SNS topic, it's uh, by default, like uh, your, uh, you know, all the other services uh, in your AWS account can actually publish a message to this SNS topic. So the default policy is kind of, uh, it's kind of like uh, very um, sort of like uh, relaxed. And, uh, you know, all these operations are allowed by any AWS service in your account. So let's go to event bridge. So that is actually the key. So 
we used to have, uh, you know, for a second, let's jump to CloudWatch. So we still have this uh, feature, you know, as part of CloudWatch, like you can see like events over here, events rules and event buses. Uh, so we are, we are going to create like an event rule. In fact, you can even do it here but then the same thing is replaced uh, with, it's not replaced, but then it's called Amazon Event Bridge. Uh, as it says here, is Event Bridge is uh, formerly CloudWatch Events, provides all the functionality from CloudWatch Events and also launch new features. Uh, so, such as custom event buses, etc., etc., etc. Et et we don't need to understand all that for this demo. So let's actually jump to Amazon Event Bridge and then let's go to Rules and we're going to create a rule. So what is that rule? So let's actually call it Demo Rule. Just one, right? And then I'm going to... So this is a rule that's going to get triggered for a particular event pattern. So what is the event that we are talking about? So they have, uh, you know, they're giving you like a bunch of predefined events. We can see here it, and then go here. And let's say, what kind of events, right? So let's say AWS events. And, uh, and then mainly we're interested in EC2 service. So an event can be coming from any of these services. There's so many services that AWS offers. God knows like how many developers and engineers they've got actually, right? So, uh, but yeah, so we are interested in EC2 service and then we want the, you know, what kind of event are we interested in? Uh, we are interested in instant state changes, right? So instant state changes and basically any kind of state change in any instance. Uh, we've got only one instance in my case and I think that should be enough and also So once the event gets triggered, what do we want it to do? So this rule is going to basically uh, It's basically going to publish a message to our SNS topic and we just created our topic right demo topic one and uh, That's pretty much it and one thing that I forgot to do which will you know, we'll go back and do which is subscribing to the topic, which is very important. So now here, this, this is basically my topic that we created. I'm going to like uh, go ahead and create a subscription for it. And what we need to do is the endpoint, like what are what is subscribing to this, right? So let's actually put my email right this is my email i'm just going to create a subscription for it so yeah basically um, we have subscribed to it but then i need to uh, go to my email and click on the confirmation because it says pending confirmation you see so it's going to send an email to my my email account and then i need to click on the confirmation okay i'm here now and then you can see that uh, it's been confirmed and um, and let's go to my ec2 service and then hopefully my instance is up and running so this is the instance which is up and running the one that we you know kicked off we kicked off the launch of this instance so what we're going to do is select and then we're just going to stop the instance and in fact this basically should trigger uh, our event rule because this is an event, right? The instance is stopping. That's an event. And our event bridge event rule should get triggered and publish a message to SNS. To which topic? The topic that we created. And then we also subscribe to that topic. And now we are here. And it's basically going to show you that the instance is, the state is changing. It's stopping right now. And then as soon as the instance stops, we'll get another alert because the instance is stopped now. Okay. And then let's start the instance now. Because you know, let's say now it's running. So let's select it and then start it. So now we go back to the email. 
and we should receive a message come on yep there you go now it's pending and then as the state changes we are going to keep receiving the notifications so this is a simple alerting that you can set up for your easy to instance using event bridge and sns topic